Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Techies. In this video, we can see one of the new feature in Angular 17. So the feature is built-in control flow template. So basically, it is used for showing and hiding based on some conditions and also repeating the elements. So already we have a structural directives for doing the same thing that is ng if, ng for and ng switch. So the same way, now we are going to use this built-in control flow template. Now we can see all the templates one by one with the proper use cases. First let me take this if and we can use this home component. So let me remove everything. And in this TS side, so here let me declare one variable. And then we can use our condition check. If it is customer, I'm just saying customer. And in this else scenario, so in this else also, we have to include this add symbol. This is mandatory. I would say this is supplier. Okay. So let me save this one. See the output. Okay, it's showing us the supplier page. So we can remove this uh, default template in this app component. Let me have this router alone. Okay, other things I just removed. Okay, but at the same time, if I am giving as customer, then this is changed into customer page. So not only if and else, we can give this if else also. I mean else if also supplier and then I'm going to include one select control also including some static options and we can include this on change event Also, I need to define this function. So we can format this one. See now we have one small drop down also. I'm not focused on the designing area, just to focusing on the concept only. So if I choose the supplier, it is supplier, user, then it is the user page, okay? So next, let me use this for. Here, I am going to declare one signal array. We can provide the name is customer list, okay? And we can use the signal. So let me include some static values. So the same way I'm going to include some duplicate records okay okay this is my array I'm going to bind in this customer side so we can use this far option okay and the very important thing is we have to use the track option here let me use this ID okay this is the mandatory part of the syntax I'm going to bind all the data in this uh, one of the list. So based on the data, I'm generating this CLA, okay? So let me save this one. See the response. See all the data are binded in this list, okay? In this far, we have some additional properties also. Let me show you one by one. See? So these are the additional variables. So using this for, if you want to check the count, I mean the number of records available in this array, we can get, and we can get this index also, and we can check whether the data is the first one or a last one in this array, and also whether it is even or odd. 
so these all the properties we can verify okay first let me take this index it's very simple and whatever value is coming I'm just binding it here okay see the response this is the index value so the same way we can check all the properties one by one next we can use this count then first and last okay the, uh, we have included everything now let me verify all the items one by one just we can verify the count count is the direct thing other areas like a first last and this order even based on the data we can apply some custom logics okay so this response totally we have four records so we are getting this count everywhere so it's not needed so let me comment this one and based on the data let me apply some logics okay first we can take this first using this uh, if if it is true it should be like this but the only difference is the background color so let me provide something gray so the same way the last so in this last record I have to put like this background color is so in this else scenario there is no background color so that is my plan so we can save this one data also fine see the response so the first one is color changed and the last one also color changed in between there is no color so even if I'm including one more record also not a problem okay see so next in this uh, for loop if you are noted we have this empty block so in case if you don't have any records in this array we can use this EMT option so let me show you so what I'm going to do let me declare one more array so that is supplier list okay just empty array okay we can copy the same code from here and just included in this supplier and I would say this is the supplier list next we can use the CMT option see the response initially we are in this customer page once I moved on the supplier see there is no items so if I'm moving to this user page it's showing the user so in case if you included one set of record then you will get the data see as per the logic this is the first row so we have the background color is gray so this is the way we have to use this for syntax next let me move on this switch so switch we can use this user area so what I'm going to do uh, let me duplicate the same array I would say user and in this content also we can use the same content including this CMT that is fine and here we can remove this uh, if else logic from here so now all are in the gray color okay it should be user list so see the records are loaded so here I'm going to use this switch case so first let me copy this syntax next in this binding area I just added like this 
and here we can take this country okay item dot country if it is India we can use this blue color if it is Singapore let me provide a look so in this default case normal curriculum only okay so now we are in this customer so if I'm going to the user it is checking the camel case also okay no this is fine so you know India in the blue color and Singapore in the yellow color other items are in this just a gray color okay if I'm changing this record also Raj is also from India and see so it is working fine so I just to take the basic example so it's real-time scenario you can use your own logics so now we are in the end of the video so still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you. Thanks for watching.